particularly Cardinal fans. It's about Cardinal history. <coughs> it's copywritten. It's prohibited from being reproduced in any kind of way. So don't try to reproduce this song. Thank you. Um, I'm going to share a piece of this song with the Cardinal fans and whoever else wants to hear it. I'd like to know what people think about it. <coughs> Here it goes. It all began way back in 1892. This city's baseball heaven because of fans like me and you. We're a family of devotees with high expectations. I'm talking about the good folks of Cardinal Nation. When it comes to World Series, we sure had our fun. Outside of those doggone Yankees, we're second to none. Steinbrenner and his predecessors used to have to pay. We've always earned ours the good old fashioned way. Bed, Witch, and Horns, we were early greats on the scene. The Gas House Gang had others like Paul and Dizzy Dean. We posed a major problem to the pitchers across the land. He strode to the plate in the person to stand the man. Red, white, and blue attire, STL on the hat. Cardinals crossed the chest with the birds on the back. Welcome to our family, it's a warm and sincere. Stand up now and be part of Cardinal Nation. Our rivals on the north side of the line couldn't get thinner. Jack sitting next to Harry up there saying, and that's a winner. Cubby fans come to St. Louis for a serious vacation. Just to know the feeling of sitting amongst Cardinal Nation. You got Gibby Brock, boy, your floods are pale and old Nelly Brown. Eyes is turning folks and the people going wild. That's more than I actually intended to share with you all. Uh, the song is already written, but I'd like to know what everybody thinks about it as to whether I should record it or not and produce it. Thank you very much. Go Cards, go Redbirds, Matt Holiday, Pooh Holes, everybody, go. 